Hey guys, welcome back. So today I will be redoing my cow and my pig pictures. This is what they looked like when I got them at Dollar General. A few things about the pictures that I didn't like, so I did update them a little bit. One of the things that I didn't like was that it was the frames were actually painted pink or it was either pink or peach. First I went over it with Waverly Wax and Antique. Let that dry. Then I went over it with some chalk paint, some white chalk paint. Gave it a little sanding so you can see some of the darker color coming through. The other thing that I didn't like was that both of these signs say the same thing. And I didn't want two pictures because they were like, this. I believe that they were like this. So, and they, they were going to be side by side. I didn't want them both saying, welcome farm shop. So I took them off and I replaced them with bows. Now I am definitely a bow person. I love my bows. However, Bows don't always look good on everything, and they don't really match my kitchen color scheme. For a fact, they actually clash with my kitchen cabinets and everything else that's in there. Now, if you look back at the original picture, it also had chicken wire for a background. That chicken wire was, I don't know if it was painted to be rusty or if it was actually really rusty, but that to me just looked dirty and it kept screaming infection so i i just couldn't keep it so i took it off and i replaced it with the grill topper so i guess i will start with the cow picture i guess the first thing i'm going to do is remove this bow so I will be needing my scraper. Hmm. Must have glued that on pretty good. There we go. So I decided that what I was going to do is paint both the signs. One is going to go in the Waverly chalk paint, and I think it's called Agave. And the other one is going to be in Waverly's white chalk paint. Okay, so I'm going to start with the white chalk paint. I don't have a lot left, so I'm just going to stick my brush right inside there. Move that one out of the way because I can be slob. So I'm going to mix up some white with a touch of brown. I'm just going to test the color on my paper towel. All right, so I'm going to go with this color, and I use the brown oxide and just some white, both from Apple Barrel. So 
So I'm just gonna let this dry, and once it's dry, I'm gonna start on the black paint. So I thought I had some plain black paint, but it turns out that it's um, Waverly chalk paint in ink. Okay, so my cow is now done. There is some streaking, but you can only see it at certain angles. So I'm hoping that when I put it up on the wall, it won't be noticeable. I'm going to use the paint that I used on the cow and I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of the Waverly Wax in Antique. So the pig is dry and his sign is now dry. Now originally on the pig it said sausage and bacon and I'm going to put that up on the sign. The sausage is going to go in the same color as the pig and bacon will be in white. I'm going to be using the sticker letters. I'm going to have to paint them and I'm going to use some wax paper that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to pull all my letters off that I need, put them on the wax paper and then I'm just going to start painting them. I'm going to put down my letters and then I'm going to go over it with a layer of Mod Podge. So I did accidentally put a little too much Mod Podge on there, but that's all right. I'm just going to put it aside, let it dry, and then I'm going to work on the cow sign. Now I'm just going to glue down my dairy sign. So back to the pig. This is what it looks like. 
and I'm really kind of disappointed in the way that it looks. I think the pig looks too plain. So I'm going to put first place on the pig in black lettering. So I am much happier with the first place written on the pig. If I could have done this differently, I would have left the pig alone and just painted the sign with the sign saying first place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, this was a video on what you could do and what you shouldn't do. Stay healthy, everybody, and be safe.